642, okay, we've been dropping hints, teasing, and talking about this all morning long. A popular ghost story here in San Antonio is over at Woman Hollering Creek. A story about a woman who lurks around the St. Hedwig area, leaving visitors terrified, but does she really exist? Whoa. As our Max <laughs> Massey and producer Joy Presley and Carlos Hernandez show us, there are some questions that are left unanswered. <laughs> She didn't feel the love of her husband, and to get even with him, she drowned their children. This is the story of a woman who's now believed to haunt this creek. And she would call from the other side to try to get people to come out into the creek so that they could be drowned. And they would say that she would try to grab them and pull them into the creek and drown them. The story goes the woman's ghostly image started appearing once she died. Several people have come forward and said they've encountered her or heard her. So to find her, today we have some ghost hunting equipment. This right, this right here, this is an obelisk. And this has a dictionary. It does a lot of things, but it's on dictionary mode and it's got words in it. It's believed that the spirits will pick the words up and it'll start talking. Did it really? Yes. See, enough. Shoot. Enough video shoot. Let me take the yeah, video. Man. I, I, I thought, thought I saw something. Yeah, like right now it's getting a real light reading. It's just starting to pick something up a little bit. But when it's in the red is when it would be the intensity of something. Luckily for us, we never actually found her. At least, we didn't think so. I definitely hear something crying. Yes. Nope, no sir. <laughs> we we got to go down here. We might we might pick her up. Come on. Now obviously it seems like we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's pitch black outside and just looking around, you know, we're hearing a lot, we're seeing some things moving, and this is probably the most paranormal, scary situation I've ever been in. Originally, the hollering and noise people hear were from panthers, but we're told that's no longer the case. What they hear today, I'm not sure, because the area is not full of panther anymore. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.